This tutorial is going to be about keyboard shortcuts. Now, this is a huge topic in Adobe Photoshop, and so we are not going to go over every shortcut. There are so many, and you can research this on your own. There is also a great article from the Adobe website that is linked to the slide um, discussing keyboard shortcuts. But I just wanted to introduce you to a few of the ones that I use all of the time and that you will probably use for this lesson. So the first thing I want to show you is over here on the toolbar on the left hand side, we can see that there are some letters associated with each of the tools. So for example, if I want to access the eyedropper tool, I can literally just hit I on my keyboard and I have the eyedropper tool. If I wanted to have the brush tool, I can hit B and a brush tool appears. And so this is really helpful. I find it especially helpful in digital painting um, because I can switch between the eyedropper where I can sample a color and the brush tool um, really quickly. Um, another thing to know is that um, if you make a mark, so let's say if we do a brush, if you make a mark that you don't like, um, instead of having to you know, select it and delete it or go to your history and go back one step, you can actually go back one step in your history by hitting Command Z. So you can hit Command and then Z and it will disappear. Okay, so Command Z. And then if you wanna get that back, you can hit Command Shift Z. And this is all on a Mac. Um, if you need the shortcuts on a Windows um, machine, then look that up. Um, it's pretty similar. Um, I just believe that there's, instead of command, it's control for many of them. But that's that's a really key one that I use all the time, command C and command shift Z. Now, one you probably know, but it's worthwhile taking a look at is um, copy and paste. So let's say I have this um, square, here and I want to make more squares so I can um, I can hit command C command V and it will copy it right okay something that you might not know though is if you hold down um, if you hold down option why isn't it doing it? there we go if you hold down option and drag so um, here we go. If I hold down Option, and if you see right here in my Keycaster, that's Option, that's Shift, that's Command. So I'm holding down the button Option, and I'm dragging. I have to hold down Option first before I click on it. So hold down Option, click, and then drag while holding down your um, mouse button, and then release your mouse, and then release Option. So you can play around with that. That is really helpful. Um, I'm going to go back, Command-Z, and get rid of these boxes. Something else that I use all the time is playing with the diameter of um, different tools. So this will be for the eraser, the brush, the smudge tool, anything that has a diameter. You can increase the diameter by using the bracket keys. So you can use the right bracket to increase it. And you can go ahead and use the left bracket to decrease. That is also very helpful. The next one has to do with zooming in to your picture. So I'm going to make some markings just so we can zoom. Um, if I want to zoom in, I can click on the magnifying glass. And when I click on it, um, I can zoom in and see the pixels. But let's say I want to zoom out. So now I'm going to have to hold down Option. So you can see Option has lit up. I'm going to hit Option, and I'm going to zoom out. Um, if I zoom out too far and now my picture is really far away um, or zoom in too far, I can always hit command and then zero and it will fit the um, artboard into the frame or the canvas into the frame. So that's pretty cool. Another thing, the, the um, last thing I wanted to talk about is something that is um, really helpful for multiple layers. So Let's say I make a shape again. I'm gonna make like a rounded square. Um, and I want that exact rounded square on another layer in the exact same location. <clears throat> I can highlight it and you can see I have it highlighted um, here in this 
um, thing, I can copy it and then I can go to command shift V and paste in place. And so what I've done, whoa, um, let's do command shift V, there we go. So now I have the same rectangle in the same spot. So I have it in the same spot every time. All right, so you can have can see they were in the exact same spot. So if you want to paste something in place, I really love this um, command shift V and you can find that in, um, here it is, paste in place. There it is, command shift V. So if you want to learn, oh, the last one is um, command T. That's a really good one to know. So if you want to learn these keyboard shortcuts, you can also look, um, in any of these um, menus here, you can see the shortcuts, which is really cool as well. So if I wanna edit this, um, this square, I can hit Command T. Um, so I'll do that again, Command T. And now I can edit that. And you can do this for images. This is so helpful when we're getting into digital collage. Um, you'll see this in the tutorials. Um, and once you have it edited, you have to hit enter before you can do anything else to it, like delete it. So I'll do that again, command T. And then if I edit it, I try to delete it. Nothing will affect it until I hit enter. And now it is, um, you know, transformed. So those are just a few. I hope that was a good um, intro for you. And just keep, you know, looking at the tools and looking for these these different options for shortcuts.